I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out and slinging spells. Shenanigans will ensue in this No Holds Barred EDH show. Each month, we'll highlight a new commander deck that you get to see pop off in a glorious fashion. Now meet our players for this month's game. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Joe Johnson, a.k.a. Black Nito. First and foremost, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely join our Patreon. It really, really does make a difference and really does help us out. Today, I'm going to be playing Ruik Thar. Uh, go ahead and play them spells because uh, I'm going to be doing six damage every single time. And I'm going to take a page from Lynch over here. And I'm just trying to play EDH with the homies and do, uh, you know, hood right things with my friends. Yo, it's your boy Lynch. And as always, I'm here to have fun playing magic with my friends at the table. I love paper magic. Uh, today, I'm playing Azuri Renegade Leader. So uh, what my deck is trying to do, get a lot of mana dorks, uh, pump uh, a lot of the mana into Azuri to make my creatures get plus three, plus three, and gain trample to the end, or maybe find Crater Hoop and drop Crater Hoop on the battlefield. Hey, I'm Barry, back for more fun with these guys. I got Numa and Nadir. Partnered up Elf Warrior Commander, so built it as a big goofball elf tribal deck. I'm gonna get as many elves out that do some nasty things, and if you let me get a board state, they're gonna regret it. Hey, what's up, Deck Masters? This is your boy Aaron David. Today I'm playing Multani Maro Sorcerer. I'm gonna make a big creature. I hate your deck. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see who wins. Bam. I got a three. I got a five. Joe goes first. Okay. It's Joe's turn. Joe, Joe, it's Joe's turn. <laughs> it's Joe's turn. <laughs> Take us away, Joe. All right, cool. I'm going to play uh, Carplus and Forest. I can add one mana or add red or green for one damage, and I'm going to pass to you. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to play a forest. I'm going to tap that forest. I'm going to play an Elvish Mystic, and I'm going to pass to Barry. Draw a card. Polluted Delta. I'm going to pay the life, sack it now, go get a Bayou. I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to buy you guys a uh, Wirewood Symbiote for one of them. I'm going to noticing some similarities. He's a 1-1. One, one. He's going to let me uh, return an elf to my hand and untap a target creature. But only once per turn. Past turn. All right, I'm going to draw a magic card. I'm going to play a forest per turn. I'm going to tap it. I'm going to cast Exploration. Ooh. I'm going to play a forest per turn. Ooh. I'm going to pay a green and cast Fendhorn Elves. All right. And then I'm going to pass it to you, Joe. All right, all right. Let's draw. I'm going to play an Ancient Tomb from a land for turn. I can tap it to add two colors mana. It does two damage to me. So I will tap that. Take that life. And I'll tap this for colorless. And I'll play a Burnished Heart for my creature for turn. Commander Legend. <laughs> Commander Legend. Got that Coming pring. right at got you. Got that 3D. <laughs> <laughs> Something that won't Pringles. Um, I can tap three, sack it, and uh, search my library for two basic lands and put them on the battlefield tapped. Uh, with that being said, I'll pass. I'll untap, I'll draw for turn. I will play a land. I'm gonna tap three, and I'm gonna cast Elvish Archdruid. Uh, other elf creatures I control get plus one, plus one, plus I can tap, add one forest for each elf I control. So currently he could tap for two because I have two elves, and I'll pass to Barry. Nice. Untap, mono green ramp, scary stuff. All right, <laughs> draw for turn. Let's just do a woodland cemetery. Comes in untapped, I have the bayou. I'll tap two, try to catch up to you guys with a talisman of resilience. And I'm gonna pass the turn to you, Aaron. All right, I'm gonna untap these cards and draw this one. That exploration. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's no good when you don't have a lot of land. I was going to say, I'm like, where are your lands at? <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a land. It is a Russian dried arbor. Uh, but I can't tap for manias right now. I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to cast Emerald Medallion. So Ooh. my green spells cost one less to play. Uh, I'm going to just pass here. Well, I'm not going to block, but the crackback yeah, will be symmetrical. <laughs> exactly. Like, ha we both strip-mined each other. Uh, pass the turn to you, right, Joe. Cool. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw for line for turn. I'm going to play this Cinderglade tapped uh, because I do not control two more basic lands. And I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw a magic card. I will play a forest. I'm going to tap one. I'll cast a Copper Horn Scout. Whenever Copper Horn Scout uh, tags, untap each 
other creature you control. Seems good. <laughs> I will go ahead and tap my Elvis Mystic for a green and two forest, and I'll cast my commander, Azuri Renegade Leader. I may pay one green, which allows me to regenerate another target elf, or I can pay five mana, which three of that will be green. Elf creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and gain trample till end of turn. On that note, I will pass my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. It's scary. Man. I know. What are you going to do about that? <laughs> Fortunately, I'm not playing my blue decks. So <laughs> <laughs> Very what not I will playing do, blue. I think we have a lot of proactive decks at the table. <laughs> what I will do, Joe, is um, get some more elves out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Everybody's kind of Sounds good. That's going to be the, the, the attempt. The, Go wide. You know what I'm really going to do, Joe, is I'm going to lose some life. I'm going to cast Phyrexian Arena. It's an enchantment that allows me at the beginning of my upkeep to draw a card and lose a life. I'm gonna also play a land for turn. It's a a French dryad armor. What, what is this with the foreign dryad armor? <laughs> we are we are men of the world. Is that much more like cheap getting exciting. that foreign armor? It was before they just got reprinted. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you can never have too many dryad arbors past turn. <laughs> all right, we're gonna untap. We're gonna draw this card. I'm going to play for my land for turn war room. It has pay three, tap, pay life equal to the number of colors in your commander's color identity draw card. But we won't be doing that. We're going to be adding four mana and five with Fendorn Elves and with the reduction of Emerald Medallion, I will cast Multani, Maro Sorcerer. Multani's power and toughness is equal to the total number of cards in each player's hands. So uh, we'll check in when it matters because that is a fluctuating number. Right. But for scale, let's let's count up a uh, number of cards in hand. I have five, six. I have four. Ten. I have four cards. Okay, so it's 14, 15, 16, 17. Multani is a 17, 17 shroud. Does he have trample? No. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. He's got shroud, though. <laughs> That's the turn. All right. We'll try this <laughs> In your turn, I'm going to tap two for an ancient tomb, add a colorless, take two, and I'm going to sack my burnished heart. Bye-bye. Why well, gotta be sacking your creatures? Well, he's gonna give me some land. <laughs> yeah, well, that he's pretty big. He's, he's big land. <laughs> I'm gonna get two forests in, tapped. All right, untap. I'll draw for turn. I'll play a taiga for my land for turn. I see. I have some options, he says, with seven open <laughs> mana on turn four. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna go to safe route. We're gonna tap one, colorless, three, four, five to cast an Elder Gargaroth. It's a 6-6 six, six with Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. Whenever Elder Gargaroth attacks or blocks, choose one, create a 3-3 three, three beast token, I gain three life or I draw a card. I don't feel safe. I'm so just trying to protect wanna... myself. Y'all got these elves and, and Motani yeah. out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least they will draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll pass turn. This is the green episode. <laughs> Untap, draw for turn, play a forest. Just get yeah, maybe trample. maybe right. it won't gonna, have trample on my turn. I'm going to tap him for four mana because I have four L's. <laughs> I'm going to tap another forest. I'm going to cast Seaborn Muse. All right, so I'm going to go to combat. <laughs> I'm going to attack Barry with these three. Which Barry? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? Because <laughs> I'm attacking untap each other creature control, so I'll be able to untap these three. I will then go ahead and spend uh, five mana pumping all of them plus three plus three with trample. All right, I take it. So yep. This guy's not attacking. Just these three are attacking. Gotcha. That's why it's eight, 13. nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep. 13, 13. damage, big swing. Boom. I'll pass on that. Untap. I have yeah. with you. Upkeep, I lose a life. Draw a card. Hurting over there, I see. Play a land for turn, Undergrowth Stadium. Since I have more than two opponents, it's untapped. Tap for three, cast the Wood Elves. I am going to search my library for a forest, put it into play, and shuffle my library. Unfortunately, after that, there's gonna be nothing. I'm gonna pass to you, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna untap. Let's get my uh, Dryad Arbor out in front here and uh, draw this card. That's not what we wanted. Play a forest. So the Seedborn is a 
selling. I'm going to pay three and cast City of Solitude. Each player may play spells and abilities only during their turn. <sighs> Green stacks. Oh, oh boy. boy. In response. It goes on to the stack. I pass priority. <laughs> yeah. oof, 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 oof. I got nothing. In response, tap my Elvish Archdruid and one land to pump up all my elves plus three plus three. Okay. I will also go ahead and just cast Summoner's Pact. Okay. And I'll go search for a green creature card, put it in my hand, and then shuffle my library. All right, so if you have like Winter Orb or something, maybe we can <laughs> get him to just lose to a Summoner's Pact. Not, not, in this, <laughs> not, not in this deck, unfortunately. <laughs> right. I'll get Priest of Titania. Yeah, you gotta reveal this it. This creature alone could pay for the yeah, Summoner's yeah. Pact. Um, <laughs> I'm not feeling uh, like I have a particularly profitable attack, even with this big creature. So uh, City of Solitude will resolve. I will pass the turn. It's on tap. I was like, if you swing at me, I'm definitely <laughs> swinging at you. <laughs> this deck does it all at once. <laughs> <laughs> if we get there, we'll get there. All right, I'm gonna draw a card for turn. And... Well, Which means he's gonna kill all of us in one attack. All right, I uh, didn't draw a land, but... So this helps against the seed burn for sure. Tap two for the Ancient Tomb. I'll take two. Three. Four, five, and six. Cast a Dreamstone Hedron. I can add uh, three, it's an artifact, I can add three mana, uh, and I can also pay three and sacrifice it and draw three cards. That's a thing. And then I'm gonna tap three, and I'll add red from the Cinder Glade to cast Anger. Just mm. hard cast Anger, just fair Anger. Just fair Anger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, gotta, so. I gotta dump my hand. Get that Multani down. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then I'm gonna go to combat. Yeah, I guess you can't activate abilities, so technically you guys are small. Just, just so you're aware, I did forget this when I hit Barry, but all my other elves get a plus one, plus one. So oh, counter. so you should so take just more generally. damage. Well, just just these, it would have been, three. It three, been more. three more damage. So uh, you're gonna go to attacks. Okay, I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing this Elder Gargaroth over at you, Lynch. That with, makes sense. And then I'm gonna swing this Anger over at you. Mm, feeling generous. And <laughs> Multani came here to tussle. Uh, uh, Elder Gagaroth has a trigger when he attacks. Uh, I can either choose to create a 3-3 beast, gain three life, or draw a card. I am actually going to make a beast. I will take the six life, so I'll go to 34. Okay. Uh, so I think you declare blockers before me. I declared no oh, okay. blockers. All right, um, Joe, I think you understand why I'm making this block, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so I will be blocking anger with my Oh no, not my planet. Oh, all. he's not so angry now. <laughs> but all of his stuff has haste. Yeah. yeah. I'll pass turn. I had to pay up my upkeep. Getting your next upkeep. Well, that doesn't Yeah, matter. it's your turn. You get, uh, so I'll pay four. I'll pay four. Like, I'll, I'll pay four mana <laughs> for the uh, summoner's pack trigger, where I had to do it. Otherwise, I'll lose the game. I will then draw a card for Damn turn. It. That was our best shot. <laughs> I will play a forest. I'll go ahead and tap two, and I'll cast Priest of Titania. The priest. Glad you don't have one of these in your graveyard. I'll tap Elvish Archer for five. I'll cast Oracle Moldaya. I play with the top card if it's a land, um, which is not, I could play it. I gotta wait till next turn. All right, I pass. Untap. Upkeep. You untap. I untap with you. I lose a life, I draw a card. Draw phase, I draw a card. None of these cards are what I want. None of these cards are what I need. Land for turn, Yanawar wastes. Similar to your guy right there. One colorless for free, black or green for a life. Uh, let's do all six. Oh damn. Casting my commander, Nadir. Whenever a token I control leaves the battlefield, I put a 1-1 counter on Nadir. When Nadir leaves the battlefield, I create a number of 1-1 green elf warrior creature tokens equal to its power. He's a 3-3. I am in no position to do a thing or say a word. Pass the turn, my friend. Okay, gonna untap. 
No upkeep triggers. Draw this card. How big is Multani? So he's a 12-12. Um, this is a little sad, but since I can only do this on my turn, I'm going to activate War Room and lose one life to draw a magic card. There you go. <laughs> going to play a forest for turn. So he's and... back to being a 12-12. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, nah, I just, yeah. Play a forest. So. And I play the forest for turn, <laughs> and, uh, and that's it. That's the turn. Okay. Why am I scared that you're untapping right now? What, what, I, I just have anger. <laughs> Issues. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Castic Wolf Run for my land for turn. I can add a colorless, and I can also pay X, a uh, green and red, and then target creature gets plus X plus O and gains trample until end of turn. I am gonna tap three, and then four or five, for an Oran Frostfang. Oh. Attacking oh. creatures I control have death touch. Oh. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Oh. Here we go. Sorry about that anger, everybody. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if he just kills me last, I'll be okay with it. <laughs> you just purposely are like, let's just ramp Joe up with them hasty boys. <laughs> Look, if I, it's all, it's the only way I have to interact with your deck right now is uh, letting Joe interact with your deck. <laughs> <laughs> You're just sending Some Joe high level me. thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to combat. Since I have anger in the graveyard, uh, all Oran all Frostfang has haste. And <laughs> I feel bad for swinging at you, but you have, you are clearly the threat right now. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna come at you with an Elder Gargaroth, Oran Frostfang, and a beast. Um, or, or Elder Gargaroth attack trigger, I will make another beast. So how much damage is that? Currently six, seven, eight, nine, 11. Taking 11 damage. My Seaboard's really not helping me right now. But your Seaboard's a two, four, and that's a three, three. Attack. Yeah, but his attacking creatures have death touch because of the fang. Oh, you can't regenerate on your As long as he is on the board, well, it's just the enchantment, it's not him as a person. Like this weird man. <laughs> She's sitting in that chair. You <laughs> are the ruin of us. Oh, I'll block Seaborn with the uh, Elder. So I'll take seven. Okay. And then I will draw three cards because uh, I deal combat damage. So one, two, three. Uh, second main, I'm gonna tap Forest to cast a Lenore Elf. I'm gonna tap Taiga to cast a Birds of Paradise. <laughs> and that is all she wrote. Pass turn. I, I will draw for turn. I will reveal that because it's a land, I will play the land. <laughs> so I'm gonna tap one green. Then I'm gonna tap Elvish Archdruid for six. Here comes the pain train. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna green sun zenith. Search your library for a green card with converted mana cost X or less. Put that in the battlefield, then shuffle uh, your library and put green sun zenith into your library. So I'm gonna take my library. But uh, yeah, this looks like it's coming at me, eh? Probably gonna have to hit Joe because of what he's got on his board with his death touchers, he's gonna kill me. Don't say anything, <laughs> just, <laughs> just let that thinking ride off. <laughs> well, I can, he's, he's bad too, they're all bad. If you let him around too. I'm going to get Crater Hoof uh, Bohemoth. I am now going to shuffle this and then I'll reveal it once I finish shuffling. Absolutely. Yeah, just give me a cut. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Okay. So because of Oracle Maldaya, I'll have to flip the top card to reveal it. Um, Crater Hoof hits the battlefield, so all my creatures get a plus seven, plus seven. And... Uh, trample. And trample. Oh yeah. That I'm, F around to find out moment. I'm going <laughs> to tap Priest of Titania. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna tap it to six, so all my creatures will actually get plus 10, plus 10 and trample. I'm going to attack I think you can kill board at this point. Yeah, I think he has. Yeah. I can block 11 power. I can yeah, block I have six. To kill, I have to kill you, you two. So this is a 12-12. And it's going to stay a 12-12. This will stay a 12-12. This is a 13-13. 12-12. 12-12, 12-12. 
13, 13. Then, nice. then I can tap these two again for 12 nice. mana total. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that's, that's lethal. Because you're already at 48. You just have to declare your attack. Of the elves, though. So they'd be plus 19, plus 19, yeah? Yeah. So they're plus 20, plus 20. What do you think? Won't board wipe you. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's all green decks, I don't think. All right, so if I, I, I have a damnation, if it's on the top two cards, I'll cast it. <laughs> so, this is, <laughs> so this will be a 22, 22. And Joe is the one that can crack back. I don't know. Joe has the know. biggest crack back, I think. Not a block. I have to block he to survive. You have to block everything to yeah. survive. So you can yeah, leave like three life and no board type shit. Also, I have an ancient But then I feel like I myself. feel like he can respond and he can kill me though with whatever with else anger he does. stuff. Yeah, with the anger stuff, with his haste, and he's at a shitload of mana. And I think I can survive one crack from from Maltani. It's possible. That's wrong. That's wrong calculation. But I would. I would, I just want to see his turn. So yeah. I just. All right. So <laughs> <that's> I'm. <personal. laughs> I'm gonna swing Crater Hoof, Copper Horn Scout, and Oracle Maldaya at Joe. I'm going to swing uh, Elvish Mystic and Renegade Leader at Aaron. Okay. Then, because I've tapped them to attack, all of my creatures untap. I will then tap this for... Uh, this one doesn't untap. I'm sorry. Each other. I will then tap this for another 12 floating mana. 13. 14, 15, so I will engage my Renegade Leader three more times to give plus nine, plus nine, and trample to, to one, two, three, and four. So therefore, this is still 12, 12. This is a, um, a 22. Yep, 22, 20, yeah, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 21, 21. This is a 21, 21, Blackjack. and this is a 22, 22. Those are my attacks. Okay, right, so, so uh, I will block I only have to make one block to survive, right? Correct. So um, I can't kill either of them, right? With no, the 12, 12? It's a 22. That's yeah. why I didn't swing Crater Hoof at you. Okay, so I'll block, uh, I'll block 12 of the damage with Multani. Okay. And he dies, or I guess you declare your blocks before we work everything out. Uh, I mean, I can't survive this, and I can't kill anything. Cause I'm, I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten power that does not kill Crater Hoof. Yeah, I don't think then the City of Solitude will prevent anything yeah, from, and the, I from yeah, the Gargaroth I trigger. Well, I mean, I couldn't do this anyway. Uh, I think, I guess I just die. <laughs> okay, so I take 44 minus 12. Correct. So I take 32 and I go down to seven. You can just kill me now, Barry. <laughs> I think he needs your help. Yeah. He needs You're at seven? I'm at seven, yeah, sorry. No worries. No worries. Okay. Sorry. I, I, I mean, you were really scared. No, I didn't I mean. tap. <laughs> I wanted to kill him first, originally. I will avenge you, Joe. Yes, avenge me. All right. Here's the bill. Blow up the board. I'm, untap, <laughs> upkeep, I lose a life, I draw a card. Go to my draw phase and draw a card. What was so, I thinking when Barry, I if you this? don't kill me at minimum, I could do something that, how many cards are in your hand, Mike? One. I could do something that will help you if you don't kill me. I need all the help I can get. He's not going to kill you. He needs yeah. help killing me right now. Yeah. First of all, I can't kill you if <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> Maybe I can, but. I have two blocks. What kind now. of victory would that be? <laughs> Especially among friends. All right. I played my land for turn, basic little forest. I will tap for five. I will cast Vanquisher's Banner. Vanquisher's Banner is going to give all my elves plus one, plus one. Whenever I cast the elf, I'm going to draw a card. Nice. I'm going to tap three more, and I'm going to cast an elf, my commander, Numa, who allows me to put X11 one, one counters on any number of elves at the beginning of my combat. I draw a card as the cast trigger. And then I will move to combat. And without declaring any attackers, I will quickly pass turn. Okay. <laughs> what you got, Aaron? Can you do something? Um, if I draw a land, I could do something. And if not, not really. Mr. Deck oh, Master. that's not a land. Come on, Deck Master. Yeah, I mean, I can't really do much. 
Seven. Oh, I'm one mana short. Can I just make this a forest? Throwing <laughs> <laughs> um, you forest. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, so, I mean, I get to resolve this card. It's it's not as good as it should be, but I'm gonna pay four. I'm gonna cast Eureka. <laughs> I'll read it. Please read it. So uh, let's read the unerata text. Uh, both players, all players, both players may take any permanent in their hand and put it directly in, into play. Players take turns playing one card from their hand until neither one wants to play any more permanents. No spells or abilities of any kind may be used while this is in effect. If a spell has X in it, X is zero. So what it means is everyone just, we're playing war now and we just like turn over the cards. Uh, you, each player may put in as many permanent cards from their hand into play. Um, so I will have two, <laughs> but uh, it goes in turn order. So, but, so I will start by putting in Karn Liberace, and you may play a permanent card. If so you the question is, if I say no, does it stop at next turn? No, it doesn't. If, okay. if you say no and I have 40 more cards, which is what's supposed to happen when I cast <laughs> this card, because I'm supposed to All draw right, so off So I will play time. Bow of Nalea, attacking creatures you control of Death Touch. Okay, that might have hurt you more than it helped you. Oh no, I'm going to do really well right now. I'm yeah. going to play a forest. Okay, I That's will... permanent. And I'll play Thought Vessel. I'm out of hands. I can keep going. And I'm also out, so you can put any number of permanents you have into play right now. Wait, you have a card in your hand. Uh, it's not a permanent. Oh. Any number. Any yeah. number, yeah. You can dump your hand if you have enough permanents. Yeah. So. That's a doubling season. That's a death right shaman. That's another forest than the mother swamp. All right, I feel a little bit better about that. Okay, so. Is Vanquish's banner recast or uh, enter the battlefield? It's when I cast. Ah, so yeah, okay. so. They robbed me of my death yeah. right trigger. I should have held it up. <laughs> so, so, I to have, <laughs> so I do have a Karn Tough. Liberace, and I can exile. What, Barry, what would you like him to not start his turn with next turn? <laughs> I would just exile that section of his battle. <laughs> I get one, you get one choice. <laughs> Karn enters with six loyalty. And uh, so, Barry, what do you think we should? Uh, I mean, probably what? this, because it's letting me untap, it's letting me do double taps. I don't know. I mean, you, you guys, you guys pick. The but problem I say, is that this is juicing his creatures. Yeah, I'm the not sure. Is that this one is giving him gonna, the mana. I'm not sure one permanent is going to really do it. I think you're because still dead. he can recast yeah. it. We'll get rid of the at yeah, least one of the pompers, like the priest of Titania the priest or, or the Elvish, Elvish Archer. 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 Yeah. Um, well, the Elvish is more important because he also gives a plus one. They're, they're pretty much the same card, except yeah, he gives a so, plus one. So I will exile Elvish Arch Druid. Okay, Elvish Arch Druid is now exiled. All right, and now I also have this Thought Vessel of two manias remaining, or more than that, but I can't really cast uh, no too spells. Too bad I can't regenerate them. I know, loyalty. or give him Hexproof. I can't do any of that. <laughs> so I can't cast Multani anymore. All right, uh, that's it for me, pass the turn. All right, let's see what I can he do here. He still has to kill me too, so. Did All you right. pay four for Eureka? Yeah. Draw for my three turn. For you, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. It's, I have a forest on the anything. top of my... Oh, I could have no, no. activated War Room, I guess. Do you want to do that? Uh, let's see what the top Take back is. Take back I guess, I guess... Let him redo his turn. It wasn't that long of a turn. But, but it's, it's all the whole Eureka. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. all right. Karn goes down to three loyalty, and I think that's all I should do during this turn. I'm going to pass the turn to you, Mike. Okay. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw the card that's revealed. I'm going to reveal another card. And tap Priest. I, <laughs> I, have a, I have a forest in the top of my library. I'll play that forest. Uh, Devoted Druid is in the top. So, okay, I'm going to tap one land. I'm going to cast um, Birch Lore Rangers. So now this taps for one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I will go ahead. Can I read this card? Sorry. Yeah. So I'm going to attack uh, you with the Copper Heart Scout, Barry with the Crater Hoof, Oracle, Elvish Mystic, and Azuri. I'm going to tap the Priest of Titania to then uh, pump uh, uh, with, for six mana, um, which will then, because I declared uh, attackers, this will untap all of my creatures except for him. I will then retap Priests. So that'll be 12 floating mana. 13, 14, 15. So I will pump up all my guys plus nine plus nine. So this will be 10 at you. This is still just a five, five. This will be 11, 10, and 11. And they all have death touch. 10 plus 22 plus uh, 22, that's 32. 
and five. He doesn't have the. Uh, no, he doesn't have trample. He, he doesn't, doesn't get any trample. Pump. No. So I got thirty-five trample. So you have the burst lore, so you can pump one more time. You have three. Oh yeah. Four. And so then I could tap two untap elves. So I could tap him. Yep. And this, and then one, two, three. tap that. So that'll That's pump four. it one more time. So you have to tap the elvish mystic oh. as well. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Sorry. Thank you. So you get three more. That should do it. <laughs> All right. Since I can't, I'll return him to my hand and activate some tokens here. The elves get us. Good game. I mean, the, the elves though. were going to get somebody in this game. <laughs> exactly. It was a green elf game. <laughs> Rook Thar never oh, saw the light of day. I thought cool. you were going to cast it a I bunch of times. Honestly, I thought I could have. Why but, didn't you cast it? I, I don't know. I was like, he would have done like hurt all of us. For well, no, it would have hurt yeah. me exactly. Exactly. I'm the only Stop. one with with spells. Green, really. green sun. Creature. Green sun was the only thing you did yeah. that would hurt you. So. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming out and watching. I hate your deck. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment below. And if there's a deck you want to see on I Hate Your Deck, please let us know in the comments. Yeah, yeah. To help us keep generating content, every little bit helps. Feel free to join our Patreon where you'll have access to upcoming episodes coming out, join our Discord, and much more. What's up, guys? We want to send a special shout out to all of our sponsors. Shout out to Carsphere, where you can buy, sell, and trade MTG cards. And shout out to Dragon Shield that has the best sleeves. And we got our custom sleeves right here, and perfect fits, and deck boxes, and play mats. <laughs> also, shout out to Alter Sleeve. They will hook you up, definitely. If you want to bling out that deck, hit up altersleeves.com. We'd like to thank this month's sponsor, Jeffrey's Comics at Heidi Ho. Uh, a place where you can get comic books, buy singles, Magic Seal Project, support your local LGS. Support your local LGS, do it. Time for our Tier 3 and Tier 4 Patreon shoutouts that are random. I Extra G, Brian Hedrick, Corey Hagen, Demicorn333. Thank you guys for being our Tier 3 and Tier 4 patrons. We give shout outs to both our Tier 3 and Tier 4 patrons. And for those that don't know, our Tier 4 patrons every month get a custom sleeve from Alter Sleeves. It's something that me and Joe work with an artist together to bring you something special. So thanks to all the patrons. But one of the benefits is we give these special random shout outs. Thank you guys for supporting us. We really appreciate it. Your support is what helps us continue to be able to make this content possible. And we look forward to keep getting better every episode. Thank you guys. Also, we got those new play mats, y'all. So make sure you go on the website. Shout out to our new play mats, our new shirts, our new merchandise. Make sure y'all look at all that going on. Intro and outro music by Hollow Brooks. Background music by Sakura. I hate your deck.